What's good, guys? So today I want to ask everybody a question and also have a dialogue with the community. This is related to yesterday's video about the new sniper talent. Also, make sure to like and subscribe and let's have some fun. So the question I have is this. If you can hit a target anywhere on the body, in good weather or bad, and that one shot is a guaranteed kill, how important is accuracy or skill at that point? I'm asking this because in the season that's been labeled as the season of the sniper, how much sniping skill is actually involved? My take on the issue is mixed. I think the devs had a plan for a certain weapon and to make players focus on sniping and accuracy. But in the process of that, they ended up creating the golden gun, which has nothing to do with accuracy or honing abilities when it comes to sniping. I'm going to do a few things in this video. Firstly, I'm going to show you a golden gun build, which is created for the nemesis, then show you a trash build thrown together with the M44, which is the golden gun. Then I'm going to show you what I think the devs were aiming for, but failed to do. If you only need to get one headshot kill to unlock the ability to kill everything in the area with a single shot to anywhere in the body, is it really a challenge? I don't think it is. Fun, yes. A challenge, absolutely not. Do I think it should be nerfed? Not really. Do I think it will be? Yes. Because I don't think this is what the devs intended to give the game. I feel they just failed to check the capability or consequence of leaving a cooldown off of talent. This is why I feel this is a bug even if the devs haven't admitted it yet. The talent works as described. In fact, much better than described when you simply need one headshot to own everything that spawns. It basically destroys any change in map setting difficulty. And as much as I think these devs are inept, I don't think that's what they want. Imagine Morton saying, for season 11, we'll introduce the golden gun where one shot will kill everything. You've lost your goddamn mind to think he would say that, yet, that's what just happened. That's why I truly think this is a bug they simply haven't addressed yet. Despite all the mistakes the devs make, in the end, I do think they actually want a balanced game. They love to cash grab and push crashes to the side, but I don't think they actually made intentional mistakes. So this is something I feel is an unintended benefit of a new gear set. I've heard people say that this was brought up in the PTS that only lasted a week. I'm not sure as I took no part in that. But what I do think is that anything that nullifies map difficulty won't last. Because although we all like getting big damage numbers, too much of it just gets boring. It's like playing with a cheat code. When the novelty wears off, you find yourself lacking a challenge. I think the devs know about this, and it can go one of two ways. They leave it as is, or they make an adjustment. Either is fine by me, but I'm just a player. If they gave the exotic holster and regulus combo a one second cooldown, it would be awesome in raids, but it would get boring fast. That's the problem with the power fantasy if it goes unchecked. It's short term fun, and if you let it become normal then take it away, it ends up pissing people off. So this will either be fixed fast or left alone. But knowing the devs anything that makes life too easy and is the opposite of what they intended will be removed. And yo, check it out, man. I gotta give a shout out to this dude, Carlos Nevis. I hope I'm saying that right, but he ain't lying, man. He said, builds like this, man, it's basically the Thanos gloves. And he ain't lying, bro, because if I can fire my gun into the goddamn crowd in the fog without seeing you and send your ass to the Shadow Realm, bro, this shit is too OP. The devs didn't plan for this, man. I don't even got to see your silly ass for your NPC, bro. One shot is sending you into the nether realms, and that's not how they intended this to work. If all it takes is a single headshot kill to smash an elite convoy in the rain without even having a clear shot, where's the challenge? And due to having no cooldown, I can miss all types of shots or just fire below the enemy indicator and get lucky. This is the golden gun for sure. I don't need sniping ability, a clear shot, none of that. If my bullet hits your clothes, you're done, son. We out here in the rain and I have a gun that won't wobble and all I need to do is hit an NPC anywhere and it's over. Some people think it's not understanding the talent. Wrong. This is truly understanding the game and the devs. They've put themselves in a position called a catch-22. They gave us a golden gun. This completely leveled the playing field for anybody with YouTube who just got the game and wants to destroy any encounter by simply hitting a headshot. Everything else is toast. So ask yourself this question. Is this what the devs had in mind? If the answer is yes, then it means nothing will change and the balance in the game isn't something they care about. If the answer is no, then you can expect a change 
to how this works. There's no blaming creators here. Any creator who says such a thing is living on Neptune thinking that the tail wags the dog. Hell, as much as I'd like to think the devs follow my lead, it's just not the case. The devs can be made aware of things from YouTube videos, but so can new players. At that point, it's a race. New players can see a video and take advantage of it, hopefully before the devs decide to fix it. So are you on the side that says do it while you can or on the side that says there's no rush, it's all gonna stay as it is because it can't possibly be exploited. To be honest, each side is fine in my book. I can care less. I'll say this much though. You need to be some high powered fucking idiot who bought the game yesterday to think the devs have ever left anything in the game that could be exploited to the player's benefit to breeze through content. So my my golden gun build is three pieces of hot shot, mask, the gloves, and the holster. Everything is maxed out on headshot. I got headhunter chest piece on the Hasberg, along with the Hasberg knee pads, headshot damage, good stuff. And then I'm gonna use the Araldi backpack with vigilance. All right. So here's here's the uh, the relic. It hits. Okay. I'm gonna switch the weapons back because there's a little bit of a bug. All right. Now I got headhunter proc. If I hit a headshot here. It's gonna hit 8 million, right? Just enough, but not enough to damage, but not kill. After that, it's back to the wreck. Okay, so this is, this is really important to note here. This is where I think the devs went wrong. All right, now let me switch to the golden. Once I hit that shot, everything here is going to die. Everything, right? It doesn't matter where I hit it. All of it will die. This is where I think the devs miscalculated because I don't think they were aiming to give us a golden gun. I think they wanted a little bit of a challenge, right? A little bit of incentive. Let's put it on named, all right? Named is going to die because I'm hitting it. You see that? 19 million. That's going to whack everything. It's actually 20. It's over 20, but the target range won't show you over 20. This is why I say that this is a bug. And it's going to get fixed because you're only in, you're only going to be in one of two camps. Either you think this is what they intended to give us, right? Now, now we're on the uh, yeah, we're back on the 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 relic now. It can't do anything. They gave us a talent with a named weapon, but when we change that weapon to something like the M44, once we get this kill, everything dies. It all goes bye bye. Look at the numbers. It's hard to see it here, but trust me, it doesn't matter where you shoot them, they're all gonna die. And that's a one-shot kill build. That's a golden gun. With a trash build like this, right, you got Bellstone, Uzina with Vigilance, right? None of these pieces or gear sets except the uh, the Hasberg one piece is gonna give a headshot damage. And it has Headhunter. And we also have the golden gun on here, all right? So check this out, man. I don't care how you slice this. You're not gonna tell me this is going down as intended. With a trash build like this, if I go over here and go from normal to named, right? Named is the one right above elite. If I proc this, okay? If I proc this, you cannot tell me that this is what the devs intended, right? If I hit, pow, right? Look. Bang, 19 million on that one. You can't tell me that you are supposed to be able to do this on a trash build just from using two pieces, Determined and Headhunter. This is not how the devs intended this game to go. Anybody who thinks this is as simple as, oh, the talent's working as intended, clearly doesn't understand how this game is supposed to work you can't see the forest through the trees it's not my fault um, but again whether it should be nerfed or not that's not my call i actually don't give a damn it doesn't matter to me enjoy the game how you choose to but uh, you know it, it just is what it is so like and subscribe guys i'll catch you on the next video I look forward to the conversation in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Until then, have a fantastic uh, week. Catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.